I guess interested in and going to discuss about how to download and install Hadoop for Windows operating system. So add here first we need to download JDK 1.8. So add here this is Oracle official site. JDK AC development kit 8. Click there. Now here after scroll down and here you can find Java AC development kit. So add here you need to click add here accept. Now from here you find or oh, this is add here Windows 64 bit operating system and here the science is 215 and here this is the exe file. Right click and here after open with new tab and here download oracle so add here this is oracle login so add here you give username password or if you don't have any account then create the account after that you can able to download this software so that software that i already downloaded so i already have now here after the next is we need to download add here how to download so write in google how to so here Hadoop Apache or release this open. Now here after let's click that. Now here you can find add here this. This is the latest version 3.1.2, 3.20 and here this all of version. Now here after let's click add here mirror site. Now here after go to add here this one. Uh, or uh, this one this option now here you can find add here different version of Hadoop 3.2 2.9 so add here I'm going to download add here Hadoop 2.7.6 click there now here after so add here different files are there so add here Hadoop SRC and here you can find MDS and here you can find different kind of files so add here I'm going to or download Hadoop 2.76 GZ. Now here the size is 207 MB. So this file that I already downloaded. So I'm not going to download again. Now here after. So uh, next is we need to download and install JDK. So that I that software that I already downloaded and installed. So here or uh, you should go at this place here Java and here you can find JDK1 that is already installed. Now to check which version is running on my machine which JDK is running. So right here you simply write Java C and here minus version. Press enter. So add here this will denote add here Java C 1.8.0. This is currently running. Now here after next is go add here download and here this file Hadoop 2.7.6 that software that I downloaded. Here you can see the properties the file size is 206 MB. Now here after the next step is right click and here after click on open with and here win archive click on ok now here this is the counting total files so add here now the next is extract to and here this is the location where the file going to extract now here after click on ok so add here the file is extracted 96% has been done and here 98 99 so right here the file is extracted without any error now close that so right here this is the file so this file we need to copy and c drive so click add here copy and here let's go to c drive and here you need to copy and paste so right here this file that i already pasted at here c drive Now here after we need to open at here environment variable. So double click on the PC and here after right click this PC go to properties and here advanced system setting and here click on environment variable. Now here after let's add some variable. So at here click on new button. Now at here 
give the variable name. So add here first I'm going to give the variable name add here java underscore home. And here ought to give the value. So add here you can copy the value from here or this person. So from here you can copy. And here up to paste. So add here we need to uh, add here give the Java home value. See Java JDK 1.80 and here not or just remove the bin. Now here after click on OK. So add here there is a one new variable added Java underscore home and here this is the value. Now here after click on new again. And here this time going to add new variable name that is R2. So here so here this is Hadoop there. Now here after copy this location, see Hadoop and bin. Now here after give the variable name Hadoop underscore home and here this is the value. Click on OK. Now here after uh, see, uh, select the path and here after click on add it. So add here let's open SPIN and here copy this location or path. Now here after click on or select this path and click on add it. So add here you can see add here this a path that I added C Hadoop 2.7.6 and here pin and next we need to add add here C Java ZDK and here pin. Now here after let's add add here C Hadoop 2.7.6 and here S pin. We need to uh, set this three path. First is for Hadoop Java and here this is S pin. Now here after click on OK. Now click on OK, OK and here after cancel that and here after the next step is so let's open this PC here C and here Hadoop and here after let's go to ETC here Hadoop. Now here after we need to or do some editing on some XML files like add here core site, HDFS site and here after we need to do editing on here so let's do one by one so right here right click on core site and here let's open with notepad now here after the next step is so let's go to add here configuration Now here after press enter and here after we need to write some code inside between at your configuration. So this is the starting and here this is the ending. So at here you must write at your property tag here this is the starting and here closing name and here this is the value. So name at your fs default fs and here the value is stfs localhost 900. Now here after save and close. Now here after the next is and here we need to select this one. Map read site XML and here copy this one and paste here. So paste and here after let's rename. So we need to remove out here copy template
Now click on yes. And here after open with notepad. And here let's enter. Press enter. Add here configuration. And uh, here after we need to write add here config inside configuration. So this is the starting closing here. The starting of properties, closing of property. And here we need to add add here name. So add here map reduce framework name and here value yarn this one and you have to save and close so two part has been done now here after let's open add here how do and here we need to create to add here directory so let's new folder and here give the directory name data and inside the directory data, I'm going to create two sub directory. So add here, let's create to right click and here new folder. And here after, give the sub directory name data node. And here after, let's create one more. Right click new and here folder. And here, give the name. Add here name node. So to subdirectory that I just created. Now here after let's back. Now here after let's copy this location. And here after go to etc and here hardo. And here after, let's search at your STFS site. Right click open with notepad. And here after, or oh, here from here, let's press enter. And here write the code between configuration. So this is the starting here closing. And here the name three or oh, at your property tag we need to add. From here, this is starting, ending, starting, ending, starting, ending. So, right here, this is the name DFS replication value 1. And here, after DFS name node, name directory. So, this is the location C hardo data name node. And here, this is the name directory. And here, this is the location. Now, here, after pause save that. And here, after right click yarn site and open with add your notepad. Now from here, let's press enter from this place, press, take the cursor at this position and press enter. Now here after the next thing is, so add here, we need to write this tags. So right here property is starting closing is starting closing and here this is the starting of pro configuration and here this is the closing of configuration. So right here name tag yarn node manager of service and here the value is map reduce suffer and here property is name yarn this one and here this is the value. Now here of the or save the file and close. So here after we need to do at here setting the path for Java home. So at here oh, let's copy this location for Java C Java and here after here this is the seat Java home. So remove this part and here paste the location. Now here after save and close. Now here after let's go hardo once again. And here you go to P. So and here there are list number of files inside here. So we need to do add here. We need to download configuration files and here we need to paste. 
so the add to so one more thing add here or uh, in or description i will paste the link where you can download other files so add here this file that i already downloaded how to configuration and here this okay select all and here after copy and here after paste inside this location order and p and here after click on escape this files okay. so this files that added order dll lib and here this all so in description i will uh, give the link or uh, there you can download or uh, this files now here after the next uh, thing is let's open at your command prompt and here let's write stfs name node and here give for format minus format and here for, uh, press enter so at here you can find name node created now here maximum replication and here setting name node at this location computing capacity name node recycle there so at here dfs name node all those things add here now here auto so add here there is the if you go inside add here or see how to explain so here you can find a start or so if you want then here you can write a start or to all to run all the services like yarn at here dfs and there are other service are there now here after let's write the code at here a start minus all and here after write cmd so add here this all file format is cmd tab now here after let's place enter so here you can see name node data node and here resource manager yarn manager it's all on running so at here java 1.8 that is detected now here after in the browser you can write at here localhost 8088 so after that you can find at here all applications so at here total family in my system 8 gb and here you can find this all those things now here after let's write at here local host and here after 570 now press enter so here you can find at here hardo overview data notes data snapshot and here a startup process and here this is a started name node journal status this is about the summary so this so this the way we can download and install hardo in windows 10 operating system so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you